So now any discussions? Uh, the floor is open for discussion. No, Doctor Doctor Ayman has come. So please invite him. Yeah, we'll uh, uh, we'll uh, invite uh, Doctor uh, uh, Ar Arman for his uh, presentation. So um, he's uh, discussing uh, uh, conflict, uh, conflicts and uh, confrontation of threatening mobile uh, pastoral uh, systems. So we'll invite Dr. Mustafa for his uh, presentation, please. Dr. Mustafa, please uh, present your uh, paper, please. Please I invite uh, Dr. Mustafa for presentation. Dr. Man. The next presenter, Dr. Ayman, please, where are you? Dr. Ayman, you please start. You are seen online, you are co-host right now, you please start. Unmute your video, unmute your mic, please. Yes, you you are visible. You just yeah, unmute your unmute your mic, unmute your mic, and you start. Okay. Great. Yes. Great, great. Thank you. Are you listening me? Yes, yes. You are visible. You start your uh, yes. slides. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, go to go to uh, slideshow. Yes. You just click this. Are slideshow. you listening me? Well. Yes, listening. But you you you. Yes. Or you click the slideshow. Yeah. Are you listening me well? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to. Uh, to thank the organizer of the uh, field, school, field school for giving me this chance to present the, uh, the conflict and, and confrontations seriting the mobile, the pastoralist. Um, Dr. Ayman uh, Bella Mustafa. 
Associate Professor, Nutrition Department, Faculty of Health Science, Musrat University. Uh, yes. The, uh, the outline, the background, is a background about the, the mobility pastoralist among the well wide, and then the overview of the mobility pastoralist focusing uh, in uh, focusing in the Africa. And then we have uh, many cases study about the mobile pastoralist and the pastoralist system in uh, Sudan and some areas around background uh, mobility pastoralist communities who depend on extensive livestock production mainly cattle the camel sheep and the uh, goats as there is the most important the sources of the livestock the food security nutrition income and well-being the pastoral, the pastoral livestock production involves the very degrees of the seasonal the movement to access the natural resource and commonly the managed or open access system. The pastoral, the pastoralism play important role in the national, regional, world economies. It is supplied the million of animals the both domestic and international market through the substantial livestock trade network that link the local and cross border cross borders the market to the neighboring the countries and international markets the mobility pastoralists that exploiting the animal feed resources along the different ecological zone the present flexible respond to dry and increase the variable environment. It is always the pastoral here to use the drier area during the wet season and the more humid area during the dry season. The more mobility also that allow the pastoralists to mitigate the effect of unforeseen events such as disease and outbreak. Uh, and this strategies allow the pastoralists to survive in the different environmental and they create the economic value out of otherwise fragile ecosystem. Therefore, the constraint of the pastoral, the mobility such as the changes in the land use, tenure, regulation, the borders can undermine the all the pastoral the, uh, system. Uh, then the adaptability and the mobility. Let us know about how to uh, connection between the mobility and adaptability of the pastoralists. The adaptability and the mobility of the pastoralists is the relation to the resources, the variability have been undermined by the factors include the climate changes, the environmental degradation and the pressure to increase agricultural production to feed rabbit growth, rabbit growing population. The low mean rainfall of the late 20th century combined with a technocardiated approach to develop development has increasingly marginalized the traditional approaches to resources management and the food security. So the expansion of the cultivation into the marginal area has led to deterioration of land resources. Extended drought, triggered famine, and this is a factor that resulted uh, in uh, rapid changes in the land use and the land control and combination of the vast storage livelihood space. As a result of the social conflict that between the agriculturists and the pastoralists have increased along with the problem associated with overgrazing. Okay, and then that land resources deterioration by the long time. This is the changes have led the many pastoralists 
to living in the world of an insecurity and in war and in famine and also in drought. The pastoralist and the food security, they have a big relation because the pastoral area are increasingly become vulnerable to the food insecurity and the famine. Why? This region become heavily dependently on external the food. And many of these areas are experiencing the high rate of the wide scale global acute malnutrition, spreading these cases among the children under the five years. And also, uh, this is spreading among relevance among the, uh, the elders. In addition, the children in the pastoral areas sitting are vulnerable to the to the seasonal malnutrition, especially during the uh, lean season, because the lean season that restrict the movement of the pastoralist and just the pastoralist living on the uh, uh, local food. That means to restrict the movement of the pastoralist to uh, the town, to the urban, to brought the food. Uh, this is the, therefore, the, in this lean season, that means they have the relevant of the malnutrition uh, more often. The challenges of the pastoralist, the, the, the challenges of the pastoralist, the negative perception about the pastoralist. But the, the, but the pastoralism that in the urban area uh, refuse, because this means the community uh, illiterated, uh, uneducated, and they have the relevance of uh, poverty and the relevance of the famine and so on. Uh, insecure land use due to the increase and competing in, uh, interest of the pastoralist land, of the pastoralist land. So, the, for example, extractive industry, population growth, agriculture expansion. Extreme weather events that link to the, to, to the climate changes, leading to the drought, leading to the flood, leading to disease outbreak and the plant cultivation. Then destruction on mobility, especially in transboundary mobility and adverse policies and exclusion from the decision the making process that means the pastoral community the just living in the area that isolated from the uh, decision making a uh, decision making area uh, continued under the investment and the lack of adequate data about the pastoralist but the it's very difficult to find that adequate data about the pastoral population, about the very relevant of the disease about, uh, among the pastoralists, and so on. And the lack of adapted the social service in the pastoral area. The pastoralism and ecological interaction, they have, especially in the, in the dry arid ecosystem, you will find that lack of water and seasonality of rainfall, because the rainfall that they have a where the a level of the rainfall and a season of the rainfall and the rainfall months from area to area. Therefore, that affect on the mobility bus or lead to make to, 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 to make the rate or to, to go from area to uh, another. Uh, the hot and the temperature degree was that affected the mobility bus or list and livestock and the wildlife interface. You've got the very serious, uh, the uh, pastoralist in, in the wildlife area. Also the relevant of the best and the flies in equatorial in the heavy, in the wet uh, areas. Uh, that mean the, uh, the livestock, they, 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 the pastoralist, they have a suffer more from the best and the flies in the wet areas. Uh, a natural resource, the natural resource, the highly limited agricultural production. 
and almost exclusive use by the extensive pastoral livestock system. And the forest products such as the uh, gum Arabic and also in the mining. This is the natural result of effect uh, on the pastoralist. The demography. The demography, you find that in the, the in the pastoral in the in the pastoral community, the low population density. And they also that they have a limited uh, governance and the conflict on the resources, conflict on the water, conflict on the grasses, conflict on the uh, 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 land, and also that access to education is very difficult, access to health service very difficult, and also that veterinary service. Development of the pastoralists, that means the community engaged, if you look for the development of the pastoralists, you have the community engaged and the pastoralists association and self and self help uh, frameworks also decentralized environmental management with an active participation of the pastoralist stakeholders in the policy making then to maintain mobility is a social socially and ecologically acceptable form and then to promote global partnership that means the world initiative for sustainable pastoralists, the one of the, the uh, initiatives that lead to the develop of the pastoralism. Uh, development veterinary assistance with government uh, of the government and private sectors involvement. Then the pastoral area are an in dispensable part of the future land use. It will be that necessary to rethink a lo local govern governance and the social service, including the animal and human health, education, transport, environmental management, and the security. And then improve a social service, such as the human and animal health service and then a local adapted governance and integrated adaptive management will pave the way for the sustainable use of the pastoral areas include and export markets pastoralism in africa the pastoralism in africa is viable and sustainable livelihood system in dry land areas of Africa. It is the well adapted to manage an uncertainty and risk of this area. Moreover, the pastoralism that makes the major contribution to maintaining the health of the ecosystem because it is rational, adaptable production system uniquely be silent to the climatic variabilities of the right land. In the recent case, the pastoral living is facing ever increasing challenges in the form of increasing the variables and unpredictable the climate, rising insecurity, violence, increase the risk of the animal zoonotic disease, and increase insecure land right and natural resource management these changes these changes are taking place in context for neglect and exclusion this despite the weakening capacity of the pastoral the communities they are highly resilient with impressive capacity to sustain in dynamic social economic space of dry land. They make enormous contribution to the social, to environmental and to economic well-being at the regional, national, and local levels. There is a critical need 
to strengthen the capacity of the pastoralism to operate in more sustainable pathways. Let us to take about uh, some cases study uh, from Sudan, uh, and we we uh, focus mostly on the Tamil pastoralists in Sudan, either in no uh, Eastern Sudan or Western Sudan. Traditional nomadic system. This system is dominant in geographical zone between 13 north to 16 north, northern parts of the Camel Plate. We, we can show the, the Camel Plate because the Camel Plate, Camel Plate that means the Camel uh, rearing within a very specific area in Sudan, that between the limited uh, boundaries. This is a typical practice by the Kababish tribe in the northern Kurdufan is said, the camel herders continuously on the move in response to the availability of the grazing and the water supplies. The mobile pastoral of the camel is under pressure because the multiple changes in the production environment, increasing the human population, that means pressure on the pastoral grazing areas and economic implication resulting that from disease spreading of disease and lack of veterinary service in the areas and the some factors that adversely affect the traditional camel production. This look for the look to this uh, camel plate in Sudan, you'll find the camel that moving um, the mobile pastoral, the camel mobile pastoralist that uh, within uh, this boundaries, the red uh, color, because this is the plate of the camel in Sudan. Additionally, the uh, reproductive performance is a low in camel, because due to the, the late first maturation, maybe that the camel is stay about the 30, the uh, months interval between between the calving also that the maturity rate in the camel very high and then long maturation interval as we say and the high cal mortality rate due to the southern bees very relevant among the camel calf especially in the pastoral area but we have this, the, the ratio is very low, or very little in the camel farming system. Improvement of the reproductive performance and reduction of the animal loss by the management measures that are applicable to mobile system appear to offer possibility of increased camel productivity and capacity to support increasing human population. Transhuman or a semi nomadic system. How do we say? We have many system of transhuman, a many system of the pastoral community in Sudan, transhuman, semi nomadic system, a nomadic system, a mobile pastoralist. In the Eastern Sudan and southern region of the Kamil Plates in Sudan is practiced by the semi nomadic tribe. In this system, a degree of the settlement is experienced during the rainy season, where rain agriculture or agriculture mechanization is practiced for stable food production and crop residuals provide the feed supplement or alternative for the common population in dry season. Because in the dry season, in this area, there is no natural pasture. That means the camel is not grazing or the 
corrupt residuals from the due to the uh, machinical agriculture. In Eastern Sudan practice, transhuman mode of range utilization, they move that from the one area to another, the following certain migratory routes. Uh, for example, Rashida tribe, they uh, spend rainy season that from July to October around the Kasala city. Kasala city, that means the pastoral community that move from the pastoral community from pastoral area to the urban area to stay there in the rainy season about the uh, three months. Then move about four kilometers to spend dry season from March to June in thousand uh, uh, perennix of there is traditional zone in Doka area. Doka area, this just that means the the pastoral or the pastoralists they are moving from the north to the south in the dry season. In the rainy season, they are moved from the south to, to the north in the rainy season. And they become a settle around the urban area, but they have a distance from the urban area, and then they can go back to, uh, to the south in the dry season. The member of Shukriya, Lahawin, Kawahla tribes, stay in Butana plains during a rainy season. Either to south, Gadarif city, or to the south east along Adbara River course. The Camel pastoralists have the balance natural requirement of there is a Camel with need to prevent overgrazing and to maintain range productivity. The Camel owners can clearly explain in details of the topography and the landscape where they once heard it, there is the animals, type of the blunt growth, species diversity from the one area to another, and the camel preference in the different the season and the plant salinities. Or tell from the small of the milk production when eaten by camel. Also, know which species are useful for the medicinal purpose. That means the communities that depend on the uh, camel milk production in the form of the uh, feeding and medicinal purpose. The constraint facing the camel pasture relief in the Eastern Sudan, we have many constraints facing the pastoralists and the camel owners in the eastern Sudan. In the case study, the animal herders in the Sudan are abru pastoralists. Just the pastoralists in the eastern Sudan. Leading the nomad, nomadic life combined with the minor crop production activities. Just for about the four months of the year. The camel pastoralists are always moving over a large area in searching for the food and the water of the camel. During their continuous transhumans, the camel are affected by the many production limited factors, such as disease, range, and the pastoral limitation. That means the extension of the agriculture mechanization in the pastoral areas become the marginalized the pastoral areas, and that means the uh, the coming that the suffer more from the the uh, shortage of the pasture. Also, water scarcity and the water scarcity. The camel just depend on the rainfall water. And the rainfall water is staying about the three 
to four months in Hafir. Hafir that means this is a small area uh, that uh, that uh, for for the rainfall water collection for for the life stock in the pastoral areas. The, the also that the high cult mortality are recent security problems because you know in Sudan we have the many internal conflicts, this is internal conflicts that affect on the, the chemical production in the pastoral uh, community. The nomadic tribes in the pastoral areas in the eastern Sudan were represented by the Lahawin, Rufa'in tribes, and their dwelling types was 10 met from the hair wool, but semi-nomadic, they are dwelling that types made from the cottage, and that from the three branches or three leaves, and also that from the, the sorghum uh, stick. But sedentary uh, tribes, sedentary tribes that stay about just about the four to uh, three to four months, they are they are building. There is the dwelling that from the uh, cement and bricks. Uh, shortage in the water it is a one of that challenges the pastoralists in uh, Sudan, especially the mobile pastoralists. That uh, information that collected from the water cooperation of the Gadari state and the amount of the coverage of drinking water to animal population in the state about the, about the 50 percent which means that a lot of effort and fund must be spent to increase drinking water cover coverage of the life stock in the state dr iman please uh, short and the high tax dr there are the many complaints among the, the livestock herders and the owners from the high market taxes and other lo local government taxes. That means the taxes from the district, taxes from the, the state, and taxes from the, 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 the Ministry of the Livestock. These are taxes. Consequently, this is may lead to the owner and the herder to abandon this is the commercial activity concerning the camel business. And Dr. Iman, also, please, also please conclude. Stuff. Please conclude now. Yes. Please conclude now. I'm let. I'm let this in you well. Please conclude. Please conclude. You have only few minutes. Yeah. I think I have problem in the. Uh, earphone okay okay i will write a message for you okay okay go ahead please conclude please finish in few minutes okay, okay. just five just just two minutes yes okay. few minutes yeah you have few minutes three minutes four minutes maximum i think i have problem in the uh in the volume, I am not hear you well. You please, please, you please finish in four minutes, three minutes, okay? Please, three minutes. You have three minutes. Okay, okay. The attacks is the shortage in the bachelor and the uh, and the fooders, the male sources, the life stock, the fooders in the areas, the grazing and the browsing provided by the natural vegetation. Because the natural pasture in the area increasingly dimensioned by the expansion of the mechanization agriculture farm. And the camel herders are and owners become increasingly dependent on the, the crop residuals. And the camel owners, the uh, and herders are become that increasingly unsatisfied by the by this situation because of the high price, the crop residuals, and the competition among the city system of the camel productions. Uh, lost due to the shift 
of the animals and also that due to the uh, the specific season you have find that many comments that should be that lost by due to the shift and also that by due to the uh, insecurity and the uh, uh, internal uh, conflict and the or that may lead to the loss of the the livestock and the camel. Uh, disease control this uh, in the Ministry of the Animal Resources, you will find that the targeted the health service toward the cattle, sheep, and toward also the, the, the poultry. Uh, why the little service? The little service are targeted toward the, the camel. That means the camel disease is relevant in the Qatar state about the, the uh, mang, about the 29.3%. And Tirbansumes is about 23.3%. Mainly that the camel herd that practice traditional treatment of the most diseases, pairing and also that the rearing take, there is a is take the camel for the proper the veterinary treatments to the major uh, veterinary hospital in the town. Uh, low uh, level of education among the mobile pastoralists, the one or that of the, the challenges of the mobile pastoralists, they have high percent of the family mobile who are illiterate because they did not find the chance for education especially the children uh, illiterate, illiteracy among the pastoralists and the, the family reach about high percent that about the 69.7 percent they have because they have they illiterate uh, this is indicate need for the appropriate system for education to uh, so the camel here does and improve the law, the, there is a life standard. The capital investment and the capital investment that mean other constraint the camel production in the Mutana, Bachara regions include the lack of enough the capital for the investment because the many, the, the Basra community and the mobile Basra community that they rearing the camel just for the social value because they, 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 they inherited the camel from there is a parent, and then, uh, and then that the continue of the camel from generation to generation. They they come in, they are not rearing just for, for, for the investment. This is a big problems. Uh, also, that the labor problem and the marketing shortage. Uh, the uh, this the constraint may indicate the changes from the substantial to the commercialization, where it's already well advanced in the areas, and this will be that expected the labor and the capital constraint would assume more significant in the future if the more raising the problem of the partial veterinary, veterinary service, security, and the water shortage receive uh, proper attention. Thank you very much. Dear Dr. Rao, Dr. Rao, Ah, yes, sir. Oh. Now I can. Now, now your time to conclude. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, uh, on this occasion of this uh, uh, training session, transhuman and posturalism. Baseland governance session now five five point three.